Now what if we have hundreds or millions of students in our database? And we need to find a particular student. Scrolling down from a list may not be the best option. The simplest way would be adding a search bar to trim down the list of items displayed in our list view. The Xamarin Forms search bar is a user input control used to initiating a search. Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. In this video lesson, you will learn how to search specific values from our list view using the search bar. Now let's open the Visual Studio and do some coding. Let's take our student info list into the next level. To add search bar to our app, we simply add a search bar element here. Because we have multiple elements on this page, we need to wrap them in a stack layout. This search has a few properties, one of them is a placeholder. This is the text that is displayed when the search bar is empty. We also have a few presentational properties like text color, placeholder color, or font size, and so on. But I'm gonna leave it up to you to experiment with these properties. Now, this search bar has a couple of events that can handle to implement searching. The one that is commonly used is text change. Let's go to our code behind. In my previous video lesson, we use a LINQ or language integrated query to update our list. And we're going to use it again to search from our list. The start with method returns a list of data that starts with the character or characters we provide to it. Since the search is dynamic, we're not going to pass a fixed value to it. Instead, we need to get the text value of the search bar. How do we do that? If you hover your mouse pointer over these arguments, it says here that it can provide old and new values. So if you type e dot, here we have two properties we can use. But what we need is the new value, which is the current value. Then we can assign it to our list views item source. Let's run the app. Now that's how we search from our list view element. One more thing you need to know here is that in this example, we're hard coding the list of student info here. But in real world applications, that's rarely the case. Instead, our data are either stored in a local database or in a remote service like the cloud. What I want you to know here in the video lesson is how to use a search bar in relation to the list view. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone.